hi guys today i'll be showing you how to generate a github access token and you use the github with the github access token with your git cli so once once you log into your let me zoom the screen a little bit so that you could see perfectly i think this is okay so you just click on your profile go to settings Once you go to, to settings, go down to developer settings and you see new GitHub personal access token. You click on the personal access token. It will ask you to generate new token. You click on it. So it's very, very simple. So you need to give the token a name so that anytime you see the token, you can you remember it. So let me just give this one, let's say a ALX. Yes. So what's the duration you want the token to, 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 to take? So if you like 90 days, if you want it to take a year, you can customize and choose when you want it to expire. And one thing with this uh, expiry date is once there's a few days before it expire, GitHub will send you an email telling you your tokens about to expire. So you can come back and extend the expiry of the token so i will just put let me say 90 days so if you just want let me just give it any access you want to delete and you need to give it all the access you want to be do you want to be performing with the token if the token doesn't has have that kind of access you won't be able to perform that action from your git cli so i just want to give this token a full permission and i will generate the token so the token has been generated you see you see it here so click please kindly copy it even if you don't copy it once you come back you always have access where you see the token name which which you gave it and you can always copy the token but me i will just keep it here and paste it here because i'll still be using the token so now let me go to my sandbox terminal so i've generated the token so what i need to do now is so what i need to do first is let me go back to my github so you can just click this first sim uh, plus symbol here new repository i want to create a new repository please if if you don't know how to create a github account you refer to one of my videos on introduction to github i'll put the link in the description if you want to watch it so i'll just create a repo and i'll give it this name so the name is available so description I want to give it this so so it will be a public repository I don't need to add a readme no git ignore because I know license that's why I see them no none so I'll create the repository now so the repository has been created so this is the link to the repository understand and this is just a basic command to just guide you if you want to work with the, your repository so now we'll go back to my sandbox so now I will make sure always make sure you are on your root directory make sure you are on your root directory oh sorry So I just check to make sure I'm still on my root directory. So let me zoom in a little bit. So I should make sure you guys are seeing the code perfectly. So now, sorry, if you want to paste any code here, the first thing I'll do is I'll clone the repository. I'll clone the repository. So here, this basic command to let easily allow me to clone 
you can copy so now if you want to paste on this terminal if you are if you are on window just press uh, control a v control a v so control a v will allow you to put to, to paste if you are just pressing the control control v or this thing or command v you won't be able to paste so now i save my github access token i'll copy it here just make sure you delete the this thing here delete this one and paste your github access token so if you want to paste control a v so here was the you replace it with your github username so hmm? so once you paste it you can just clone so this error is a mistake i did i i'm not supposed to include this this here this cover brackets i don't need to include it so let me rerun so this is the warning you appear to have cloned an empty repository it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the repository is null by default so now let me enter into the directory of that repository i just cloned now so now let me see the into the directory please observe I've, I'm now in the directory of the repository I just cloned now. So now the next thing is I want to write a message. My first readme. That's the, what I want to write into the into the into this repository I just cloned. When we are creating the repository, we did not add. A readme that's why this warning is showing you that you've cloned an empty repository so we'll create a readme file now and we'll put a message saying my first readme so now the command we'll use is we'll use echo please make sure you are in we are in the rep, this directory this is the directory of the repository we just cloned so in single quotation i'll say my first my first read me so this arrow will now create the read me file for us so it will write this sentence in to this read me file it will create the read me file immediately and write this my first read me message so if we've created the readme file so now let's print what is inside the readme.md file using the cat command you see it prints the, the message my first readme so we've successfully created a readme file and we're reading if a, a, a sent a, a, a one line of sentence into the readme so now what is the next thing we are going to do now so the next thing we are going to do is we want to connect this our terminal with our credential so that next time if you want to push or commit to github github will identify this our credentials and it will allow us to commit to github without logging in on the terminal with our github credentials we will not be able to commit or push anything back to github we can all we can always pull from github but if we didn't log in with our credential we will not be able to commit or push anything to github 
So now I've this is the syntax. So I will control A V to paste. Control A V sorry. Control A V yes. Control A V to paste. But uh, let me remove this simple because it is a mistake. So now, what's the first thing to do? The my GitHub email. That is the first thing it will ask of. So inside quotation. So here you are expected to put your email your github email so let me put my let me put my email you close quotation you enter so the next thing i will still paste the same command control a v but here it is not going to be email it is going to be name so here i will advise you to just put your github name username enter so once you enter the next thing is we'll do git add please make sure you put dot at the end the dot means everything in this directory that has not been committed before so git add so this git add has with will get all the files like give them a signature like it will now initialize all the files that are not being committed before so now I'll do git this git commit you'll be using it a lot and frequently so in a single this thing I'll say my first my first commit so sorry here I write mister so my first commit You see one file change one insertion because those files have, have not been committed before that's what git add will keep doing for you whenever you commit so now the next thing is when I will do git push so here is asking for password for my github repository so what you are going to use you are going to use this your git personal github token control av to paste so you don't need to it you might not see anything if you just paste press enter and control av So sometimes maybe I have not I didn't paste it perfectly. Control A V enter. Sorry, uh, let me redo the git push. It will still repeat the same process for me. Control K V control A V enter. So don't worry if you paste and you did not see your the GitHub access token you paste. Don't worry. If it is once it's come to this password, anything you paste it will not see it. Just make sure it is just the, it is just the thing you paste and no any other you didn't press any other key. So once you reach the password section, just if you are using if you are on Windows, Control A V enter. If you do it for the first time and it's showing you authentication error like the first thing, like the first one I did here, you see fatal authentication. Don't bother about it. Read. Do the same command git push again it will give you an option to retry your password so copy the github 
access token and paste it there and you are good to go so now I've, we've initialized and uh, push our readme file you know we created a readme file we've pushed to the github so let me go back to our, my github now i'll refresh this repository i expect to have a repository with a readme file and the message i wrote so this is the this is, the, this is what we've just done with this with the terminal here you can see the code you can always refer back to the code this is what i've just done Please subscribe to this channel and like share with your friends if this really really helps you thank you